Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learn Technology in 5 Minutes by Maker Demi. This is Navi and part of the instructor team at Maker Demi. In this episode, we will do an overview of the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. When the Raspberry Pi Foundation introduced the Compute Module 6 years ago, they would have never thought that this teeny tiny variant of the popular Raspberry Pi board will become this popular. Between now and then, there has been multiple revisions of the compute module. Now out of nowhere, when no one was expecting a new board, especially just after the recent release of the 8GB variant of the Raspberry Pi 4, the Raspberry Pi Foundation announced the next variant of the compute module, aptly named as Compute Module 4. If you have ever wanted the power of the all new Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer, but in a smaller form factor, also with more options to expand the I.O and its functions, then Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 also known as CM4 got you covered. The Compute Module 4 is basically a Raspberry Pi 4 with all the ports cut off. Instead of the ports, you plug the Compute Module into another carrier I.O board with its special board to board connectors. You can think of it as a motherboard of a desktop. When you compare the CM4 with the CM3, it is clear that they have completely redesigned the board. The CM4 is an even tinier package than the CM3 and it measures just 2.1 by 1.5 inches. The Compute Module 4 is very different from earlier modules which used a SODIMM connector. The Compute Module 4 connects to a carrier I.O board using two high density perpendicular connectors. One connector for power and low speed interfaces and the other one for high speed interfaces. Each connector have 100 pins each to connect power, I.O and the GPIO pins to the Compute Module. It should be noted that this new connector breaks compatibility with older I.O boards. Now that we have looked at the design, let's now look at the overall features of the board. Compute Module 4 features the same 64-bit 1.5GHz quad-core BCM2711 processor as the Raspberry Pi 4. It sports dual HDMI interfaces at resolution up to 4K and a single line PCI Express 2.0 interface. It has a dual DSi display interface and dual CSI2 camera interface. It has 28 GPIO pins. It is also available in 1GB, 2GB, 4GB or 8GB LPDDR4 3200SD RAM and has optional 8GB, 16GB or 32GB eMMC flash storage. This time around, the onboard eMMC storage is great as it is much faster than any normal microSD card. Because of this wide array of configurations, the CM4 comes in 32 different variants with varying flash options, RAM options and optional wireless connectivity. Similar to its predecessors, there is also a CM4 Lite version which does not come with a built-in eMMC memory, reducing the cost of the module to a minimum of $25. Coming to videos, it has Video Core 6 GPU which supports OpenGL ES3 and can do 4K and 1080p hardware encoding and decoding. The Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 has optional 2.4 GHz plus 5 GHz 802.11 B/G/N/AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0 wireless connectivity. The CM4 also has some tricks up its sleeve. It drops the USB 3.0 interface for a PCI Express interface. Meaning that you can do some pretty cool things like connecting a USB 3.0 expansion card, installing an NVMe drive, installing a sound card or installing legacy PCI Express adapters. So what is the application of the Compute Module 4? The CM4 can be integrated into N products which are designed and prototyped on the full size Raspberry Pi 4. This allows for the removal of unused ports, components and peripherals thus reducing the overall cost and complexity. Therefore, applications are virtually limitless and can range all the way from DIY projects to industrial IoT designs such as portable electronics, small-scale hosting servers, data exchanging hubs and integrated home automation systems that require the processing power offered by the CM4 all while maintaining the smaller form factor and power consumption. That is all folks, if you like this video, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell to be updated about our future video releases.